Nerd gang. So y'all man's blood is not on back in the reaction, bro. Y'all, I've been hearing about this Diddy for a very long time. You are a disgusting human being, bro. And I think the most the most crazy part about this is the people that's involved. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, bro, ain't no way. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I know a pastor, like, I don't know if y'all know Pastor T D Jakes, bro. I looked, I was like, bro, ain't no way this man is involved in this, bro. You are a disgusting human being, bro. The industry is a plant. This is I feel like all this is scripted, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? I feel like all this is scripted. Like everybody knew this. Like, bro, people over here prophesizing this, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. Like for real, for real. Light Scrap Comic Roll 10K, man. Um, let's get into it, bro. The current witch. And no more cussing. And Jack, like they got Jamie. Look, 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 look. Bro, this man Diddy is. Oh my gosh, dog. You you are ridiculous. You are a disgusting human being, bro. I hope the industry wants no part to you after this. But against Diddy is all about brainwashing his peers. Rumor has said that Diddy. And then the parties? Oh my god, I would never step for you. You couldn't even pay me a million dollars, million dollars to go to this man parties after after all this, bro. Been sexually harassing. Oh my gosh, this 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 Oh, I can't say the word, but y'all know what I'm that when I'm I'm tuning on. Many rappers who were new in the industry. And according to I'm telling to you, the industry, they sell their souls, and it's a whole plant. It's, if people are industry plants, people are industry, this industry that. Bro, I'm telling y'all, this industry stuff is real weird and it's dangerous. Diders, Diddy is also... Like, they be forcing people to do things, bro, in order to achieve what they want. I'm telling y'all, bro. Often some very dark and crazy stuff like after parties. And now we are going to talk about Diddy's most controversial after parties and crazy speculations that are going on on the internet. And how he has been exposed blatantly by the figures who were his direct or indirect victims. It disgusts me. <laughs> and Felix the house cat. Famed house music producer. Yeah, no, I know that is. Basically spooning each other. <laughs> <laughs> I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, we my daddy. Daddy, like oh this. my gosh, sorry, sorry. I don't think I could watch this. No, 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 no. I, got I like it. that. It was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. Oh, sir, yeah. sir, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Ain't no way, bro. I don't think I got. I don't think I have patience to really watch this, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, dog. Damn. Went there to see the lifestyle, right? right? And I saw it. And it was. <laughs> and it was uh, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. Josh Ostrowski. this man just said looking at dog. So, social media influencer, entrepreneur, winemaker, okay, and okay. author so Josh Ostrowski allegedly shared a real horror encounter with Diddy and his friends. Josh lives in the United States. The Fat Jew is the name by which he is better recognized on social media. A lot of people felt one way and a lot of people felt the other way. I sort of got kind of placed into the middle. It was like the face of the issue and I was Bro, what is I would do hairstyle right? I don't know what that is <laughs> it's like you know the internet is for yelling and screaming Josh basically talked about how he apparently faced the backlash when he exposed Diddy for his dirty actions well it was also Bro, I, don't, I know that it's not to say we have been Josh because we all know how Diddy has always kept his angelic image among the public it all started when Josh attended a party that was held on Star Island in Miami, which is also the location of people. Miami, you know what's going to go down in there. He was there you already know what's going on. A house producer who was serving as the party's DJ. And what could he have possibly seen there? Basically, me and like beautiful, like ethnic models, mm -hmm. like, just beautiful women who I obviously had no interest in. Only I beautiful see. But women. There were only beautiful you think it's more than women? <laughs> Boy, this man, this man loves men. You know what I'm saying? Models there, then there should be nothing wrong with the party. You know, my man is telling me that, like, you know, every third person is some executive. This man like know, post behind the scenes guys who I don't recognize. This is something suspicious where Josh might have stumbled because he might have been feared of being recorded wrongfully. And to think of it, it is also very suspicious how a party can only have women while there are no men. But what happened afterward? Josh went to look for the bathroom, and with that, he just made his way down one flight of stairs, and he found himself deep within the twisting corridors of the mansion. This one's like a closet, one's a room that doesn't have a bathroom in it, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, every room should have a bathroom in it, That makes sense. Ooh, so hey, hey, if he has any condition, my bad, my bad. I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, that, that's on me. That's on me. I take accountability for that. Oh. If you're in this every dungeon, yeah, have, right. every house should so have. I open a door, and in that room, there are a bunch of men and here two things might have sounded fishy to him one no bathroom in the rooms and men in the rooms and this is not it they were all lying around in a very weird manner oh like, no kind of like, oh this very is like disgusting no like laying about and you know kind all of right like all right all right this is testing my mental patience to watch this oh hell no nah, bro <laughs> oh hell no nah, bro 
grown ass men doing this, dog. Very like kind of leaning on each other, not really spooning, but like conversation. Ew. Spooning. Well, you might know if two people lie like they are spooning. They must be a couple. Yeah, two just what I'm saying. spooning and seeming to be romantically involved is somewhat very weird. Yeah, it would almost be the prelude to an orgy. Yes, oh, absolutely. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh. Fritz Montana, you are, you are canceled. Oh my gosh. Yo, any, any, any person in this, I, I did any person that is involved in this, I cannot respect you no more. That's like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cannot be serious right now, bro. Y'all are grown men. Playing, y'all be rapping about uh, women all the time, bro. Right now, y'all getting exposed. You don't, you don't, y'all don't, don't be messing with women, bro. This is disgusting. Oh my God, it was so prelude. Okay. Hard. That whole scenario could have been enough for Josh to clear all doubts that Diddy put on a show to invite beautiful women so that no one could find what was actually happening behind that pool pack. Oh, this is but Josh disgusting. did not sit Bro. back silently and even disclosed apparently that Diddy's after parties and parties are no less than anxiety because when you leave those parties, the scenes haunt you for your life. He said, pretty much everything. I've got a plethora of problems. Aren't we all, at this point, suffering from raging anxiety? The experiences we do are what people wish they could do, like riding around in a convertible with a llama in New York. Diddy and Fabulous. The majority of individuals have oh the gosh. desire to attend an after party where celebrities will be present so that they may interact Although Fabulous has attended a number of events in his day, it appears that he feels that some of those parties did not live up to the expectations that were set for them. Now, if you observe, Fabulous is surrounded by an obvious cloud of melancholy among the crowd. He seems to be carrying an invisible burden, which makes us sympathetic to his attitude. Ew, he is quietly enjoying a piece take, of take cake that off. while projecting an air of seclusion. Moreover, he appears grizzies, reluctant man. to meet the eyes of others around him, as if he is really uneasy. Perhaps Diddy's presence casts a shadow over Fabulous's consciousness in this enigmatic tapestry of feelings, subtly influencing <laughs> his current state of mind. Could the rupture be the God, I want to throw conflict it. between their artistic goals or a personal <clears throat> issue? One may only guess, because the truth lies deep within their shared past. But Diddy kept... Is that Justin Bieber? May only guess because the truth lies deep within. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna have to cancel a lot of people after this video, bro. What is this right here? What is this right here? What is this right here? Please tell me this is Photoshop, dog. What is this? Oh no, nah, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of people getting canceled. I would never listen to y'all. Never listen to Justin Bieber anyway. But I would never listen to whoever is on this damn list. You are canceled for life. I will never, ever, in my life, even bro, bro. <coughs> Past, but Diddy kept questioning him. So Fab, how was your birthday, man? <laughs> hey, and what, and what, was your, what was your wish mm. for this year? To which Fab responded, "I like vibes. You know what I mean? I like <laughs> vibes. You like I men? Like <laughs> wanting for anything, like you know what I mean? So I got a cool vibe." I, 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 Spend some some of the time with my kids. As you pay close attention to Fabulous, you see that both his words and body language indicate a lot about how he is feeling at the moment. It is clear that he is consciously trying to distinguish himself from Diddy. He <laughs> emphasizes his desire to be a devoted family man and stay near to his kids, expressing a newly discovered priority for the family. I went out, grabbed a bag, mm. and I spent some more time with my kids. And you know what I mean? I felt like I was a milestone. Age. How y'all look at each other knowing what y'all did? Y'all disgusting. Oh my gosh, dog. It's, this is, this is, this is nasty. Fab has started a path of self-discovery, reassessing his priorities and realizing the value of preserving his relationships with his family. His decision to put his responsibilities as a loving dad first shows a profound emotional awakening. And you got a whole family doing this, bro. Deep I think that's the worst thing about it. Immediate circle. And even fans noticed something in the environment. One of them said, Damn, the energy and body language from Fab is very telling. Mm. And another fan added, Later Diddy had himself delivered to Fabulous's crib inside a birthday cake. He jumped out the cake and came at Fab like the booty warrior. Ah, 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 hey, this man's on my, hey, I can't take care of my kids. Bitch, you got another nigga's kids in your fucking mind, you nasty gay bitch. I'm sorry, I had to let that out. I had to let that out. I had to let that out. I promise this last time I'm going to cuss the whole video. I'm sorry, I ain't gonna say another cuss word after this after that, but I'm sorry. I gotta say it. This is disgusting. 
this is this is deceivable. This is this is this is just utterly ridiculous as a grown man to have kids doing this. You can do this the easy way or the hard way. The choice is yours, fabulous. <laughs> but this is not it. The New York City rapper also recently posted a series of revealing anecdotes on his Instagram story in which he just Oh my god, this 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 dude canceled. I don't know if anybody I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I think I heard it, bro. This shit is disgusting. If I was your wife, I would disown you right now and divorce you and wouldn't talk to you again. This this little dirty little I said I wasn't gonna cuss again. You dirty. Discussed in was going ran off on his celebrity buddies while they were attending events. According to Fab, the circumstance required an Irish I was just like, look at this. Look, they look, were you ever got peer pressure to go and at the parties with the You are a grown man using a using a using a Yo, that is a female emoji. You really want to go? I don't even want to read that. For attending a vet, and it was necessary for it to occur. Not only that, he even dropped some helpful party escaping excuses to help his fans, where he suggested, you ever got peer pressured into going to the afties? You ever said you were going to the bathroom and left? Everything started when the rapper known as Ghetto Fabulous asked his fans if they, too, had ever felt forced into attending an after party when they were at a concert of his. Fabulous said, you really want to go home or back to the room, but you don't want to be the turn down to the turn up. Fans were oh! talking about his queries oh! when Fabulous revealed that oh! he had a very absurd oh my experience God. with Diddy, who kept Fabulous partying until the early hours oh my of God, the I think next I'm morning. Throw I told Diddy I was going to the bathroom and slid once, he admitted. It was 7 a.m. and this word was still turned. This story was all about Diddy forcing him to go to parties, which can be seen here. I want you to party with me for your birthday, man. I'm, I, yeah, we, we party for my birthday before you came to my party. You know? No, but me and you ain't never really party, you know what I'm saying? Did you just notice how Fabulous was hesitating while Diddy said he wanted to go to the party? Why? Because Fabo might have known that there is always something going wrong when Diddy is invited. And this is why Fabulous gave him a very awkward facial expression. But this thing was also noticed by the netizens. The internet gonna do their job, right? They don't just gonna sit there and just say, oh, hey, this is a nice interview. They gonna do their research. You know, the look. y'all should really be detectives. I don't know y'all what y'all occupation is. Some of y'all need to be detectives. I remember this when Diddy gets drunk, his true colors come out. A f fruit cake. Come on, fam, a fruit cake. This man over here talking about across the interview. Hey, I went to the party with me. If that was me, I would, I, would, I would go across the interview, make a viral moment, slap the living out of you. You know what I'm saying, bro? You disgusted. Y'all be having full of families doing this. Diddy gets drunk, his true colors come out. He's definitely into men. I just don't understand why he don't just live in his truth. Another one said, Surviving P. Diddy is gonna be epic. Damn, and we Fabulous called it. His desire to flee the scene and return to his house makes perfect sense, given that Diddy's wild partying lifestyle is well known to the public. Diddy gay club. So with maybe am I getting this wrong? Did he do it? Did fa this fabulous dude? Did he do it or did he just? I don't even know. I mean, I, I'm blaming Diddy more on that. I just I just heard that the people that's involved are are yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exhibit. A second rapper, Exhibit, has also come out to share his terrifying experience. After having a fantastic night at his house, Diddy brought him out clubbing. And it wasn't until later that they found out this club wasn't like any other club they'd oh, been to Oh, nah, before. this man Diddy it's down bad, bro. No cap. It be a pretty blatant gay bar. All right. So then we, you know, we go to the house, and then, you know, uh, he, he invited us to the house because he wanted to go to the club afterwards, right? I was like, right. okay, cool. Exhibit was obviously attempting to party and have a good time at the club when someone brought to his attention the fact that the men there were well, kissing one, one more time, bro. Exhibit was stunned, but he didn't give it much thought until he saw another man dancing butt naked in the middle of the club. She bro, I am not gonna lie to you, dog. <laughs> I am not gonna lie to you, bro. Ain't no way, ain't no way this shit true, bro. Oh nah, bro, Point bro. The corner, it's two dudes. Kissing. You know what I'm saying? I like the f this. And not only this, but Exhibit also hinted toward his very terrible encounter with Diddy when he got dragged into the party. Like, hey man, you know the um that, that girl you you know about the girl you were? I was like yeah, everybody know, but you know what I'm saying? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? He's like uh you know that's the devil, man. Diddy has the audacity to ask his victims about the girls too. And afterwards, show them Ew. the real show that usually goes on at like his girls, parties. Bird. After like. that, he even told a peculiar tale of Diddy saying some words about Superhead. So, so Puffy tells you he that gonna, she... She would videotape you with fingers in the boot. Yeah, and I was I like, what the f***? 
does that mean? Yeah, yeah what does, does that mean? Oh, that's so that's oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Hey, Fabulous, my bad, bro. I think I got on you and you wasn't even in part of it. It, it made it seem like you was, but this is all Diddy. Yeah, but this made a, fr a fruitcake, dog. What are you talking about? What is the point of saying anything about any other person when they are not even bothering you? But this is Diddy, who always shows himself as superior to the younger rappers. And Exhibit also admitted that right now. Diddy might have had an episode with Superhead. He said, I guess he got some prior incident with her that he don't want nobody to know about. Diddy a bit too relaxed. But you know what is even more triggering? Is that after all this drama and fuss, Diddy does not even care. No this is way. a grown ass adult dog wearing a whole women wig on a Snapchat story. You still use Snapchat, bro? You're like 50 years old, bro. This man Diddy is, is, is just in, indescribably, just indespicably a down bad human being, bro. You are a down bad human being, bro. This is disgusting. It's the worst skill I've ever heard of in my life. I don't need to be ashamed of what the f Look at you. This, this is your true colors right here. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is you. This is you. You probably drunk right here, bro, too. So when you turn drunk, your true colors show out. This is you. This is you. Forehead big as hell. Or you got a peanut forehead. This is you. That's a you know what I'm saying? Oh, this man just hit the. Oh Lord! That Diddy was acting like a fool in this. This way. man just hit One the. Of them said Diddy is a fool. Hilarious. And another fan added, "I can't believe he got on a wig, lace pants, and a Oh no no no, bro! Did somebody put some lace? Is he laced like real talk, bro? Fifty Cent seized the opportunity to make fun of Puffy for it on his Instagram page. He posted the video on his Instagram and wrote, "Oh, oh Lord, man! Oh, this Lord. is not the first time Fifty Cent has it's bashed bad. Diddy." No. What 50 gonna say to you when he see you? What? I heard Diddy touch the oh, man, you know, what what the I can't, I don't even know if I can watch this. This shit is disgusting, dude. <laughs> this is nasty as fuck. I said I wasn't gonna cuss no more, but things, watching things like this make me cuss. This is disgusting, dog. <laughs> 50 Cent No, nah, I would've walked out the set and not came back, like, bad, bro. This because it is quite possible he has witnessed this incident. And not only this, Shoot, when 50 probably Cent did. posted a photo of Diddy and Rick Ross performing on stage to What in the fuck is this Rick Ross? Rick Ross. There is no way Rick Ross the music legend is on this gay ass shit. There is no way this is real. It's gotta be Photoshop. It's gotta be Photoshop. Rick Ross, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If you're rocking like I, I can't, I cannot, I will never listen to your music again, bro. Anytime somebody turn on Rick Ross, I'm 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 gonna pull the strap out and shoot the radio. <sighs> Rick Ross, bro. Ain't no way, fam. I don't even know who this other dude is. Together in the Look at him smiling. Look at him look at his lips. Oh, this is disgusting. Mmm, this is he seemed to imply that Diddy was keeping something from the public. Things that I've seen, that he does on camera, kissing the back of man's neck, <laughs> saying oh. certain things. Oh, 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 oh no, bro. Oh, oh hell no, yes, bro. We already know how Diddy has been with men, but the problem with this picture was that it was taken at an awkward angle. I hope this is a Photoshop, bro. Like Rick Ross, I'm not gonna lie. I hope this is Photoshop, dog, for real, or, or this is just a weird picture that somebody took. Which gave the impression that the two people in it were making out. Additionally, yeah. he uploaded a picture of Diddy wearing a pink shirt while hugging a former record executive who was also wearing pink and captioned, "I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right." LMAO. <laughs> and bro, 50 see through it, bro. 50 is smart a man. Weird habit of always doing some cringe stuff all the time. <laughs> thing, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he says something fabulous and he goes, "No, no, we, no, but me." And you. You, we ain't party. Like, we need to party. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, sometimes, you know, with your homeboys, you can say some fruity, fruity stuff here and there, bro. But if you, some people be serious when they say it. You know when somebody's serious. Like, no cap, bro. 
Now, Diddy, Diddy Frosty has been the target of the public because of Frosty Flakes' fight with Usher. The news of Diddy's sex with Usher when he was Oh my gosh, ah, uh, oh, hell no. Diddy nah, and Usher shared a bed when Usher was 15, and Diddy was in his late 20s. First and foremost, I'm not giving the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna... If we can, just let's, let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not... I don't want my shot to even... Like, I don't want it to come close to the bed. This motherfucker's banned! Banned this nigga Usher and, and Diddy. Banned both of them. I rebuke that. I a a a a name. I rebuke that. That's that's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. At all. Who knows if Kevin Hart? I don't even know if I can sit down and watch Diddy this shit because he might have known what it ends up like, even if you sit Is with Kevin Hart? on the bed. And despite Diddy's best efforts to make it sound normal, there isn't a single scenario in which it makes sense for an adult Diddy to share a bed with a ten-year-old Usher. Usher, Usher look like he fresh. And, and, and I'm not gonna put it all on Usher. I'm putting it on a grown-ass man. My bad, Usher. I'm putting it on a grown ass man, dog. Off the goddamn plane. I just, I just, I just. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like. Oh no 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 no. He was like. No 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 no. Ain't no fucking way you just 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 did this shit, bro. Nah, this this I. I think this might be harder. This this video right here might be harder than the White Howard video, ten times harder. It's this, I can't even make it through this video. I don't think, bro. Ten and I was a little bit older. His older brother we used to fight over the over the frosted flakes. Oh Usher hell also no, bro! That he and Diddy went to sexual orgies when Usher was 15 years old, which is illegal under United States law and the laws of most other countries. In the 90s, do you understand what that's like? There have been claims that Diddy may have exposed Usher to addictions and alcohol during his teenage years. Due to the experience in his teenage years with Diddy, Usher said he would never. Bro, send this his video saw so all over the place. I'm, I'm wrong and I'm right. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. This video saw so all over the place, bro. I'm wrong and I'm right. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puppy camp? <laughs> yeah, hell no. <laughs> and not only this, Diddy said that he used to get up together with Usher and have a fight with Usher. He would also continue to fight any time over Frosty Flakes. Even now, Ew. he's 53 and Usher is 44. He even Ew. says, oh, I yeah. used to be a little bit older. This thing apparently directly leads us to the clue that is in the name of the fight over Frosty Flakes. Diddy might have done something very suspicious. More Diddy sus moments. Well, Diddy's is there more? Much more that we don't know. If we watch him closely, Soldier, he has please been not tell me that's you. Many suspicious activities, as you may have seen, how he is trying to touch Bunny inappropriately. Oh, this is. Oh, oh my gosh! What the hell? Look at how man Diddy got his shirt all out and shit. Man, hell no, nah, bro. Hell no, nah, bro. Bonafide fruitcake. Physically involved with Bunny, and even making Bunny uncomfortable, as we can see that Bunny is totally uninterested in Diddy. But you know Ew. he's Diddy, and he would do anything to fulfill his desires. Epic. We gonna get you, ain't you, little dog, too? <laughs> and congratulations, young man. Well, it does not seem that Diddy will ever get caught, because Diddy's dirty hands are much longer than we think. This Pause. is not it. Let's watch Diddy's next sus moment. Bro, is that nasty? Come on, man, you deserve it, daddy. You put in that work. Proud of you, I love you. So it wasn't that shocking what when- in the f- Me! next sus moment. Man, you doing it, man. Me, why you lucky sitting like that, bro? Deserve it, daddy. This man just called another me, 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 me. You just gonna let this man call you that, bro? Bro, I would get, I would grab that phone and throw it in the water, dog. Hell no, nah, bro. You putting in that work? Proud what is he doing? Life. He just sitting there. <laughs> what work is he putting in, bro? What work is he putting in? So it wasn't that shocking when a new video surfaced showing Diddy making out with Meek Mill. Meek Mill, he looked little zesty, look. Wasn't that shocking when a new video surfaced showing Diddy making out with Meek Mill? Meek fucking Mill. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Are you serious right now, bro? Dreams and Nightmares Meek Mill. Are you serious? Dude, I, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, I might, I might have to drop your music, bro. This shit true. Yo, you're making out with other men? Oh, no. 
Meek was finally relaxing in a pool after being ejected from the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas for no apparent reason when Diddy approached him. Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these s Are you fake hard Yay. Yeah. you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. Are you fake hard nigga? Damn. You know what I'm saying? That boy Yay standing on that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, people be hating Yay, but Yay low key be spitting that. I don't give a because you can't shoot nobody anyway. Diddy then mm. tells Meek that he loves and is proud of him. The internet was quick to comment on the fact that Diddy referred to Meek as Daddy, and the rapper found himself the target of many insults. Diddy's Flavor Camp other than oh. adults, Diddy has also always liked this with the kids too. Diddy has the peculiar practice of essentially adopting young people and introducing them to the way of life of a hip-hop mogul, from late-night get-togethers to after-party get-togethers, and much more besides. Recall Usher's incident. Usher was just 10 when he moved to New York and started living with Diddy. I moved to New York for a year. And as Usher was living with Diddy, he got numerous chances to watch and observe everything Diddy did and arranged, from parties to anything. Well, as a team Usher is not the only alleged victim. He also made Justin Bieber involved in this. Slow down, slow down, Justin. Slow down, okay? Yeah, yeah, the keys is yours. You know, you're 16. You good? You good? You good? You good? Besides this, according bro, a lot to of these people be getting put on, man. Y'all ain't dealt with no struggle, man. Bro, y'all y'all getting put on, bro. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. TMZ, the 19-year-old problematic singer, and Diddy party at Atlanta's Vanquish nightclub. He also shared a shot on Instagram before taking off his top, in which he and Diddy and Rick Ross looked to be praying. But at that time, Justin was under 20, but still seemed to be around liquor and partying very hard with Diddy. Moreover, he had Bad also influence. been wearing Nick Cannon, and allegedly, he was also seen at Diddy's obscene parties, which were recently revealed by Jamie Foxx. Nick Cannon used to sleep on my couch. Yeah. 13 years old. He'd be in the house. He did a captain go back in there. He'd be a fucking candy to sleep on my couch. Thirteen years old. I ain't gonna lie, this is the most disturbing video I've ever watched in my life. I thought that the White Howard when I watched a couple months ago was bad. This is bad. This is horrible, horrendous. Horrendous. He'd be a fucking in the house. He did a captain go back in there. Fuck back in there. Seems <laughs> like Usher and Justin were not enough for him to make them traumatized. Cameron finds a surprise. Now Cameron also appeared to have to say something. I went to use a bathroom and there was a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. Stop. Hey, boss, stop. Yeah. What does it do, Cam? I can't tell you exactly what it do, but you want to have a lot of fun with your ladies, baby. <laughs> so apparently, Cameron created the supplement which increases sexual intimacy, stamina, and libido. And he came to Diddy for some promotional activities. Some cracks, some drugs. And this is what Cameron said. I haven't seen that before. Fat. Uh oh, it's strong. Yeah, that's that. You can't open the top. Anyone could say after this that the man, presence bro, of dildo you was just have some stamina and some blood flow, bro. You don't need all that, bro. It's not unusual. But the public was quite concerned and expressed themselves. One of them wrote, "It's on the sink in this your bathroom, though." Cam could have left what's understood unsaid and let it be, but no, <laughs> he need answers. And another one added, "Diddy's sexuality has been in question for a long time." It's got to be true if it's been a question for this long, and people who have been around him have these stories. Well, it seems like the public believes that Diddy is quite a shady person, because Jay Versace also revealed that Puff Daddy made him do some unusual stuff on the bed. While visiting Diddy at his home months prior, the rapper bent him over on his monster outside bed. This all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think we do. I think we know the 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 the. the we know narrative. We know it. We know it. We know it. All right. All right, all right. Is that Jay's hazy statements confirm Diddy's homosexual activities that are kept a secret. The peak of his fame, Diddy invited him over to his Los Angeles mansion for a party. A gathering of some female TikTokers posted a throwback pic showing them playing on Diddy's outdoor bed. And when Jay saw those pictures, he commented and admitted that it was Diddy who made him do this obscene activity. Diddy had him bent over. This man is sick. 
50 Cent exposing Diddy. 50 Cent is not the type of person that will shy away from speaking the truth. Therefore, you can bet your bottom dollar that when Diddy hit on him, 50 Cent was going to recall the f Therefore, you can bet your bottom dollar that when Diddy hit on Diddy punches 50 Cent for saying that he is gay after sleeping with Lil Nas X. And then 50 Cent was going to recall the full story and tell it to the media. Oh, okay. You're telling me we got to kick it and he's like, yo, why don't we like go shopping this thing? I mean, like, I pay for it. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Not only oh this, my God. 50 Cent also revealed that Diddy was apparently sexually involved with Jay-Z even though he was married to Beyonce. Jay, 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 Jay. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Bro, first it was Meat Bill. Bro, imagine sleeping with another man. You got Beyonce at home. Are you a fool, bro? Oh my lord, I'm trying not to stop, I'm trying to stop cussing, but this video has brought a light, like this, this is, this is insane, bro. And not only this, 50 Cent also exposed that Diddy is the one who was involved in the paid murders of numerous rappers. He tweeted, sorry what? I can no longer help you guys, soon you will all be gay and happy. You are <laughs> all now left under the leadership of Puffy Daddy. Hey 50, don't be no right now, don't let, don't, 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 don't be no right now. The murders, you know what I'm saying, hey, 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 don't be no right now. Know what I'm saying? The nearest rainbow. Hashtag Den of Thieves. But keep exposing yeah. these things. Yeah, for real. Team. And for this tweet, Sent had to face a huge bill. Did not leave to talk about the truth. Jamie Foxx viral conspiracy. Jamie Foxx's viral conspiracy was the one which made the fans believe that Diddy is a real giant of this industry. And he had shown great courage recently and risen to the forefront of the celebrity news cycle by revealing P. Diddy's notorious Hollywood bashes. Oh my god, I just see that Cali. Please don't tell me you in the clue. One of them said, Diddy is so zesty, and when he dies there will be a lot of his victims coming to tell their stories. Those poor young men who had to sell themselves. And ultimately, the video game oh watch- I'm so slow, I'm so damn slow, the whole video. It's like, I keep I keep thinking that they're agreeing to do it, but it's, it's just, man, Diddy just, just, just forcing it. I, th I feel like he's forcing it, bro. I don't know. I, I'm just slow as shit. Let me be real with you. Spread attention online. Landing Jamie in trouble with a longtime friend. Jamie said he captured and documented these events in the video. He described a wild pool party in Beverly Hills when all sorts of strange things were happening as an example. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel filming it and it's a pool party that is ridiculous, man. And I look up and I see Dr. Ruth I don't know if you know who that is. That, that's, that's, that's. Internet users were outraged by this, and after Jamie ended up in the hospital, suspicions quickly turned to Diddy as the possible perpetrator. However, Damn, I do remember this. I remember this. I remember this. Reports the claim wow. that Jamie's substance misuse was triggered by Diddy's wild parties. Insiders hinting Diddy's sexuality. Orlando Brown also made a revelation that Diddy had a suspicious relationship with him too. I mean, you gave me the oof wash. I love it, yo. I love it. I mean, you. Revelation that Diddy had a suspicious relationship with him, too. I mean, you gave me the oof wash. I love it, yo. First off, bro, can't even speak a single English. Bro, bro, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no. This man just said, I love it, too. <laughs> oh, hell. Oh, no, nah, bro. You know, I'm going to be able to sleep at night. I'll be real. I love it. You gave me the whoosh costume to wash. That single lip licking gives thousands of hints about what Diddy could have done with Orlando. Because Orlando is not the only one who has witnessed Diddy's true face. Orlando Brown even gave his message to Diddy, saying, We're looking for more than just the sex symbol. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for some shit. Not only him. Daylight also came forward and bashed Diddy seriously based on the rumors. Yo, hey yo, Buster, you know what I'm saying? It's Diddy. Yeah, take oh, that. Everybody's exposing, bro. This is funny. This is this disgusting. This is more disgusting than funny, dog. Um. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm about to f this. F my f um, you want to come watch? And after this, his personal bodyguard Gene Deal also exposed. What the fuck would another man want to watch you fuck, bro? 
Oh hell no, nah, bro. Did he? And I looked up there, and, and it said plugs. Then came DMX. But they made him jiggy and put. Damn, DMX had to expose him before he died, bro. Suits and and made him made them write lyrics for him and took all that publishing and. Wow. Like, Shug Knight also came forward to say a word about Diddy. You're free, walking the streets, walking to a party, standing in there, fucking Dre, Snoop. What do you say? You know, I'm straight. Call me. Not to forget, Jaguar Wright has always been pointed at Diddy for a number of incidents related to his after parties. This young woman walked in to get approval or some paperwork. Let's see. And uh, when she walked in, the door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. And when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. The public's estimation oh, of Diddy nah, is bro. at an all-time low with the niggas, veracity of the rumors. The vast majority of online commentators niggas. believe that Diddy conceals a more sinister side of his personality. When so there are think is, are, are is, is this part of selling a soul or they forcing it or are they agreeing with this? This is why I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of thinking I'm making a mistake of blaming people, but like, I don't know. Any rumors and conspiracy theories, it's probably because there's some truth to them. Just how I think all of it is true. Yeah, I ain't all of it. I think all of it is true. That's me. How much reality is there? We'll never know for sure. But that doesn't mean we can't keep speculating. Fuck that. I like when you like bro, this. You got all these people coming out and giving stories, bro. It's no way it's not true. You're not going to have just a lot of people just saying things and it's not true. Daddy, Daddy, you my Daddy I like when you, when you oh, scrambling and scraping. No, 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 I, got I no like shit. that. Oh, this all right, all yeah, right, all right, all right. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, come roll 10K. That is it for that. I am out.